Sonic 2017. It's no longer being called Sonic 2017. It is now Sonic Forces. Now, if anybody remembers, we were waiting 10 months for this thing. Yeah, 10 months. Uh, plod yourself on the back for waiting that long, by the way. I mean, I don't like doing update videos, but this one, this, this is important, you know? This is an exception. If you were like most people, you've already seen this gameplay via live stream. I really was wondering what people were using to record. Like, did nobody have a phone on them? I mean, like, come on, just try and sneak it in. If you get caught, you get caught. That's it. I know you're all feeling particularly evil today. Plus, I brought evil hand if you cheer for me. But no, really, we appreciate it. Anyways, as I look at the gameplay, it looks like Sonic's actually running outside of the city. Like he's trying to get out of there. Those robots definitely look like they're real trouble for Sonic. I don't think Sonic would be able to fight those things. But hell, that doesn't stop the people of the town from trying. They're shooting him with those little beeps coming out of the side of the road that he's running on. I mean, looks pretty alright, but those things don't look effective. Also, another thing. Why are there wisps in this game? Seriously, the reason why they were in Sonic Colors was because it was called Sonic Colors. When they appeared in Sonic Lost World with no explanation whatsoever, that was annoying. Because they were a nuisance, and you didn't really even need to use them. Yeah, you could ignore them, but the fact that they were there just made no sense. The time you spent working on the Wisp was important time to be working on gameplay. You know? As if that mattered. I got a bad feeling about this. Anyways, I'm okay with the Wisps, as long as they actually have something to do with the story. Also, Free gameplay styles. I'm kind of betting that they're going to have some kind of Sonic Boom thing going on. I hope not. Maybe it could be Dreamcast Sonic and they could try and bring on a more Mario Odyssey sort of feel with the gameplay. You have the boost gameplay, classic gameplay, and then adventure style gameplay. That'd be interesting. But hey, what if there's another gameplay that also branches into other ones? You never know. They could have different Sonics from every type of generation. Yeah, I know, three types of gameplay styles. Well, they're gonna have to choose one of them. Also, hands down, the graphics are freaking amazing in this game looking. I mean, yeah, the footage that they showed, they kind of screwed us over with it not being all that high depth. But, you know, you could think about what the graphics could look like. There are some screenshots to show it in its entirety, so it doesn't look half bad. This is the power of the next-gen consoles, after all. But trust me, I'm ready to compare. Sonic Unleashes graphics against this game's graphics. I'm not talking about the environment, I'm talking about Sonic's model. Because in Sonic Unleashed, Sonic's model was on point. Everything about it was just amazing and graphical. Honestly, I don't know if graphical is even a word, but you guys know what I mean. Sonic Unleashes Sonic model looked really good. Probably the best. So I'm waiting for this game to actually challenge that. Oh yeah, what's that? Hedgehog Engine 2? More like blast processing. Get out of here with that. Honestly, you guys, the game looks pretty cool so far. Although, since it is the only style of gameplay, it's kind of wearing out my excitement a bit, you know? Because I've already played this sort of thing before. I mean, yeah, it's cool that we're getting another gameplay style. But, you know, just, you can't help but get that feeling of, cool, Unleashed style gameplay. Speed, speed. And more speed. Oh, hell yeah! Now, I'm not sure what the f Sega was thinking when they made this game, but damn it, stop trying to reinvent the wheel and just get back to the basics. No, no, no. Sonic Unleashed gameplay style is fine. It's fine. If it could keep abominations like this underground, then bring on the Unleashed style gameplay. I mean, shoot, how do you explain this? Of course, I can't say much for, well, the third gameplay style, nor Sonic. Wait, classic Sonic. What's going on with Sonic Mania? What the hell? Are they serious? Are they, they really held it back. Whatever. At least, at least, at least they are working on the kinks. You know, I would want to get a finished game instead of a rushed one. Pure example is Sonic 06, and yeah, I kind of don't mind. But if we get this again, if it gets held back again, oh, then you're going to be touching some salt with an open wound. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Also, the theme song, it sounds really cool. It's weird. They're mixing the synthesizer from Sonic Colors along with the awesome guitar solos that we would get in Sonic Unleashed, Sonic 
06, Sonic, oh wait, that's Shadow the Hedgehog, but you get it, they're mixing the music so it sounds even cooler than the last. You know, sometimes I wonder, what is even the point? Well, um, anyways, uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading that much lately is because, you know, it's almost time for school to end and a lot of tests and, you know, very exhausting and I'm almost tired to the point where I just want to die. But anyways, that's why I haven't been uploading that much. But, uh, so this is the end of the video. See you guys later. Mr. Polar Jack signing out. Peace. And remember, you don't stop drawing because you get old. You get old because you stop drawing. So keep drawing. Anyways, see you guys later.